What's good? What's gravy? What's wavy, baby? Today's video, I just wanted to give a quick breakdown on my movie and TV rating scale. I believe I've come to terms with the 10 point scale, including half points. The only reason I wanted to post this video is because I go very easy on ratings. I'm not the negative dude who's going to complain because in one scene, the cup was on the right and the next cut, the cup is on the left or that a movie is being remade with a female lead. I don't give a shit. I go into movies with a couple guiding thoughts. Completing any major project is incredibly difficult, especially a movie. Second, movies are made by humans, so they will inherently have flaws, and going over a movie with a fine-tooth comb just seems like a waste of time when the errors don't take away from the story. That being said, I will bitch about overt cash grabs when it comes to these endless franchises. Like, why is there another Hunger Games movie, guys? Why? One last important factor for me, the demographic. I'm 39 which is dead in dog years. So I understand the most mainstream pop culture stuff is not aimed at me whatsoever, which is another reason I won't just complain like an old grump. There are enough of those guys out there. I will wait in those waters though, when I feel necessary. Now, I'd have to go back and look at my favorite movies and decide which ones I believe are perfect, but off the top of my head, I would say I have one movie I would give a perfect 10 out of 10 to, and that is Christopher Nolan's Interstellar. Hans Zimmer's soundtrack was incredible. The writing, perfect and acting beyond reproach. Like, the writing is so damn good in this movie, if you read up on physics and how the universe works, this was like the most scientifically accurate movie I've ever seen. The amount of research is mind-numbing. Look at their visualization of a black hole from our first image of a black hole. It's impressive as shit how close they got. If you notice in the movie, he never actually travels back in time either. They only ever experience time dilation. Interstellar never drags. There's not a single wasted second on the screen. It's just perfection. These are most of the reasons why I give this movie a 10 out of 10. Now, since Marvel is so ubiquitous, I will explain how they look to me for comparisons. When you look at the first couple of movies of the MCU, like Iron Man and Captain America, they were really good origin stories. And I would give Iron Man an eight, and Captain America is probably like 7.5, just because it was a little boring for me. A movie like Endgame becomes the standard for me. It's nothing exceptional. It's their run-of-the-mill product at this point, so I would give that movie seven. So run-of-the-mill Marvel movie or show, as long as it's not egregious, I'm probably going to give it a 7 because I know the project planning aspect of it all is so massive. The acting is pretty much always on point, the CGI is usually the best, and the audio is always excellent too. But the stories are what's holding them back for me, and that's what makes it harder for these blockbusters to score high. They lack creativity in the sense that these are mostly based on comics, so they're just adapting stories. You need to take some risks in order to get that perfect score, and capitalism with these corporations that have more money than we can imagine take basically no risks anymore, just compounding interest padding the coffers. A movie I would score below a 7 is something like 65 with Adam Driver. The trailer looked amazing, but when you saw the movie, they took it in a totally different direction than it should have gone in my opinion. Now the acting was great, effects were great, but it just didn't come together for me. They missed some great opportunities, I thought. So missed potential is something I care about. I don't think I'll be able to finish movies I score under 5 to be honest. They would have to be so grifty and horrible that I can't even comprehend if it's possible. Maybe I'll challenge myself to review some horrible movies, who knows, we'll see. The more consistent I get with making and posting reviews, I'm sure I will make tweaks to this, but I'm pretty confident this will stay, this scale will stay the same. So if you're looking for an angry middle-aged man who likes to complain about everything ever, I am that guy too, but not when it comes to movies. Until next time, guys. Deuces.